All right, guys, I'm here at the Glendale Americana doing some shopping. But before I get to the shopping, um, I picked up a few things. Some new SBs. More SBs. And then 11s. So, yeah, that's what we picked up. Nice little pick. So we're going to go into the Americana. We're going to check out the Galleria, too see what kind of uh shoes they have in stock today um usually this is one of my favorite spots to shop at primarily because they have a lot of the best better drops here especially at the foot locker chance shoe palace and the nike store here so i really like to do a lot of my shopping here so yeah we'll check out and see how it goes look at all those people I think it's the first mall or shopping area that I've been to so far in this series that actually has people and it's not just me and like five others. They changed a lot of this to just running and lifestyle for the most part, but let's look at what they have here. They have the vintage navies. I already have these on store. I think it's definitely a must cop. You definitely want to buy these. Prices are not too crazy for them right now, but a nice little profit you're gonna make on these. Definitely a little more than lunch money if you're able to get multiple pairs. These are the premium ones. So there's two, the vintage navy, or I forgot the exact term, but this is the premium version. And then Vomeros, I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is the pink version, kind of reminds me of Barbie, but you definitely wanna get these two. Maybe not in this color, but there is a high demand for Romero, so it's not a bad option to pick for your sneakers if you're gonna sell or just for personal pairs. And seeing these usual suspects at in the last video, so I'm not gonna talk too much about these. You already know that pandas are always gonna be here, so I'm not gonna focus so much on these. And then do you have the Dunk Low? I don't know what these are. These are Next Nature pairs, though. And has like a floral design. Probably a pass on this. Next Nature typically doesn't do that well. And you have the SB. This looks like an SB, honestly. Nah, it's not SB. Probably pass on these. And then you also want to pass on the highs. Definitely not something. One I do want to talk about are the lows. All white lows are not terrible. You could always sell these, get them in bulk, sell them to custom designers, stores. So the lows are always a nice little pickup. Um, and then all white is never bad. You can never go wrong with these. Definitely you want to cop these. Um, I a little biased. I have a personal pair of these myself, so. Um, this is a nice neutral color. You can sell it to literally boys or girls, men or women. And yeah, these are definitely hyped. Don't sleep on Romero's. I've seen these, this specific colorway sold out in plenty of like boutique shops. So you definitely don't want to sleep on these. And I think I went over these in the last video. If not, you might want to consider getting a pair of these too. They kind of look like the, I've seen some renders of people try to make these like the Travis's by customizing them. So definitely not a bad cop, maybe like $10, $5 profit, but not a bad sneaker to put somebody in if you have some extra money to spend, of course. And then don't really honorable mention, I'm gonna talk about these. So yeah, this tells its story. These are like Air Force One highs, uh, off-whites. Um, I have a pair of these in green, but yeah, Definitely not for resale, but will be won't be bad for like personal. Uh, could these go up in price in the future? Probably, but it's your choice on that one. But if you want to test the market, definitely get one in your size and just run it. Definitely find these in store though. I don't know too much about these, but pass. So I have a really cool one. These are like um, your uni blue dunks. Definitely a little bit different in terms of shade from the University Blue. 
polar blue dunks. I might have butchered that, but yeah, these are definitely something you want to keep your eye on. Resale is not that crazy for them right now, but don't want to sleep on these because they're a nice alternative to the university blues. Definitely way, way cheaper. So yeah, these are just sitting there. They're up there too. So you have them there, but yeah, don't want to miss out on these. Definitely a nice little steal. So yeah, on foot, they're pretty clean. Yeah, that's what they look like on feet. So pricing on these is actually just check StockX. They're like 108, 110. So you're gonna lose a few dollars on these, but with time, especially with holidays around the corner, a lot of people like these colorways. So don't let StockX deter you from wanting to buy these, especially at retail. So I say this is definitely a copy. You definitely want to buy these. Um, don't pass up just because StockX is low. There's always room for like $20, $30 profit, especially during the holiday season. Yeah, that was what was inside Nike. Um, overall, some pretty cool finds. A little bit of room for profit on some sneakers. The Dunklo Polar Blues, I think, were the best ones in there. Um, definitely their city. I talked to the store, one of the workers, she said she's not sure why no one's buying them. People are going to invest in what is hype. So if no one's hyping these up, obviously no one's paying for it. But uh, overall, we're going to go to the mall and go check out and see what we have there. All right, so we're here at Finish Line. They have the Rose Whispers. I remember at their peak, these were like $200 sneakers. Now they're like low 100s mid 100s depending on the size still with that being said must cop i can see these going back up once things get a little bit better but definitely don't want to sleep on these um they're in this vase for display for some kind of reason because i guess the store employees think this is a hype sneaker and yeah i think definitely you want to buy these invest probably 10 15 profit per pair this is a new release. This just dropped today. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, it's a Jordan 1 High. just dropped today. It kind of has like a purplish berry color. Um, I wouldn't touch these. Um, save money for the satin breads that are dropping next week. So definitely want to put more money into those than these if you're going to pick Jordan 1 Highs. But for the most part, stay away from these. I'll cop these for sure. So these are like a Spartan green-ish uh, Jordan 1 low. Not too much hype around these, but Jordan 1 lows are increasing in demand. So I would kind of consider these if you have a market for them or if you're looking for maybe some small flips, maybe 10, 15, 20 dollar profit. But a nice color. I haven't seen these yet. It's my first time actually running into these, but Spartan green colorway Jordan 1s. Can't go wrong with that. So they have the Coco Lows, um, also known as the Mocha Lows. Definitely a sleeper. You definitely want to cop these. Um, you can make anywhere from like 50. These retail at 114. So you can make anywhere from like 40, 30 to 40 dollar profit per pair. Um, these are definitely in demand. I'm surprised they're even still in stock. And now with like the fall weather, these are only going to go up, up, and up in demand. So don't sleep on these. If you come across these, probably the number one shoe you should cop. Overall, super nice sneaker, nice colorway, nice sale on the midsole section. Cop these. Don't sleep on them. I've gone butcher them, sold them at 200 at their peak. Good returns. All right, guys, so that's it for today's vlog. I'm heading on out. Um, yeah, we found a few cool stuff. The Polar Blue Dunks were really nice, and also the Rose Whispers were really cool to also pick up. Um, other than that, that was it. You know, just light steals, light, um, just small gains, small profit margins. Obviously, if you get multiple pairs, you can get a little more than just lunch money. But that's about it for today. Uh, make sure to follow again next week. I'm going to do some more of this of these videos. I see that you guys like it. And just let me know where you what you guys want to see, what cities I should go to, um, what malls I should check out. And just let me know. I'll go, I'll go shop there and show you guys some stuff. So, yeah, that's all for now. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.